Okay, this is a level two saxophone solo, The Hunter's Chorus by Carl Maria von Weber, uh, arranged by Eugene Rousseau. Eugene Rousseau, by the way, was a famous sax player back in the day. Um, this one is in D major. You can see there's F sharps in the key signature, but also C sharps in the key signature. Now, it just so happens that I believe in this song you don't have any particular Cs. <laughs> you don't have any C sharps, so you kind of lucked out that way. Um, you still have to worry about the F sharps, of course, but that should be a pretty normal thing. There are lots of articulations to worry about here, a whole bunch of slurs, some accents, some tenudos, some staccatos. Remember, the tenuto, the ones with the line above them, are opposite of staccato, play at nice and full value, play a nice long note on that one. Uh, there are some accents at various places throughout the song, especially right before letter C, you've got a whole bunch of accents. Um, there's a first ending and a second ending after you repeat back to C. I'm not going to play it both times, I'm just going to play the first ending and then I'll uh, play the second ending as well. Um, there's one crescendo poco poco, little by little crescendo, uh, starting at letter A and going up, to, uh, starting a piano at letter A and going up to forte four bars later. Not really a very long crescendo here, since it's only two beats in a measure. Um, and some 16th notes, and, and other than that, we're, we're pretty easy on the 100 score. So, here we go, right at the beginning. <laughs> Rondo mark there at the end, but it feels to me like there should be one. You can feel free to put one in. That's a musical decision you can make. Um, there is one strange note, I guess, that I missed before. Two measures before A, you have a G sharp. Remember, G sharp is going to be your three fingers like G, plus what I call your football key. It's really called your G sharp key, this one right here. Um, in this case, it's also a high G sharp, so you want to add the thumb key as well, the, the octave key as well. Other than that, not really any weird notes here. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward solo. Um, you know, a nice, easy level, too. Good luck with it.